Hey guys, Ronnie Calhoun here with Miss Lou Champion Spotlight. We have our friend Stacy Condi in the studio. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Um, I think a lot of people watching this will already know you, but um, just as a little background, you from you and your husband are from Miami. I'm from Miami. He's from Havana, Cuba. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, and you guys moved here from Miami. That's right. Um, in 20. 20. 2020? Right, okay. right at the height of everything. <laughs> we were so you're, like, we're out. You are a uh, a Natch Chusian. I'm a Natch. Yeah. I'm a Natch Chusian. Yeah. But my family's from uh, Amit County. Okay. Mm -hmm. Didn't know that either. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. And um, so you have um, you and your family have mothers Natches, Conde Contemporary, mm -hmm. um, both here downtown Franklin Street and Main Street. That's right. And uh, what we're going to talk about today, though, more is um, Arts Danu. That's right. And um, so tell us a little bit about what is Arts Danu and just tell us a little bit about it. All right. So Arts Danu is a nonprofit that I founded. Okay. Um, the mission is basically to give equitable access to arts education um, here in this community. So what we're doing is we've created this teaching artist residency program okay. where I'm bringing in artists from all over the world to come and live and work in Natchez for, let's say, two to six weeks. Mm -hmm. And in exchange, they agree to teach for free in the community. That's really cool. Yeah. And, I think so. and this is the first, this is the first Mm -hmm. This is the first arts residency program that you guys have, have done so far. That's right. So the first artist that's coming is an artist named Jerry Stecka. Okay. He's a professor, a foundations professor at uh, Savannah College of Art and Design. Mm -hmm. And he's also a working artist. So I'm, this, is a, this is a big deal. Yeah. You know, we've got really kind of a world-class um, university, a professor from a university, mm -hmm. coming to Natchez to, to teach our children for free. So it's... It's it's an opportunity that's really not to be missed. And when when does this start? when does this start? Who's it geared towards? How can people get involved and stuff like that? So what it is is uh, the fifth and the sixth of May is okay. the first little classes group of classes, and then the second group I want to say is the fifteenth or the sixteenth. Mm -hmm. um, yep, fifteenth and sixteenth. Awesome. Yep. I was going to say all the information is available on mm -hmm. uh, artsdanu.org. Okay. Um, but who it's geared toward is, is what I think makes this program so special, mm. is we're looking for uh, kids in, let's say, 8th to 10th grade okay. with an interest in art mm -hmm. and sort of preference is given to children with uh, an IEP for or diagnosis of ADHD and dyslexia. Okay. Yeah, I found in my, God, maybe 10 plus years as a gallerist, curator, um, and art dealer, that the majority of the artists that I deal with have that kind of a diagnosis. If we can get kids, yeah. right, in this sort of age group uh -huh. um, that have an interest in the arts and, and it turns out that they're actually really good at it, we can sort of lead them on a path towards yeah. careers, you know, and educational opportunities, um, which helps with unemployment and drug addiction and, you know, mi misery, basically. Yeah. Just full on, we're trying to shed some light in yeah. the community and give people um, some options. I think that's amazing. I tell people all the time, one of the things that I just hope for everybody is just happiness. There you go. You know, we're not all meant to be rich and famous and all that, but everybody deserves happiness. That's right. And one of, one of the things that I play guitar and, and people that don't have an art or something like that, I, I, I call that an art, I guess. It is an art. Um, I can sit there for hours and I, and I kind of get lost in it. And it's, it's sort of a therapy for me. Mm -hmm. And matter of fact, whenever I would do interviews back whenever I was writing and stuff, they would say, what, what made you start writing? And I would always use the same corny joke, but I was I would always say, "Well, I knew three chords, and I couldn't afford therapy." <laughs> so I would it. say, um, "So I can understand art being sort of the same thing, how you kind of get lost in it." You and know you're that that's, you know that that's a hundred percent a Zen Buddhist mm -hmm. practice, yeah. right? It's a kind of meditation, and when you get lost like that, mm -hmm. you know, in gardening, mm -hmm. in cooking in writing, painting, uh, playing music, whatever it is, mm -hmm. right? Um, your blood pressure goes down. You're kind of connecting to this other thing. You're present. Yeah. You are 100% uh -huh. yeah. present in the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it helps 
tremendously with anxiety and stress in general. I've got some, I've actually got some contacts that I'm going to share with you whenever we get off of here. That'll help you, I think, find some of these um, students for the class. Right. Please, that, please do. That'll be great for you. Yep. And um, so another part of this I want to mention really uh, fast is that I, I can't focus enough on the free part of this, yeah, right? Yeah. The point is to reach out into not just the Natchez community, but you know, the surrounding counties mm -hmm. and some of the surrounding parishes as well. Okay. And pull kids from all different communities and provide this kind of again, mm -hmm. equitable access to a high level of, of arts education. And that, so two quick questions is how often are you going to try to do this and how many kids do you think that you'll be able to, to, to accept? Okay, well this particular round, we're looking at 12 students per two day class, so 24 okay. students in total. Okay. Um, and how often we're going to do it, I mean, it'll depend on the success of it. it okay. It'll depend on, you know, what it winds up costing us in the mm -hmm. end, you yeah. know, this, mm -hmm. this time happily, we have some really wonderful people like, um, Sharon Brown at Natchez coffee, um, like Mike Blattner over at Dunleaf, you know, people who have provided us with gift cards so the artist can afford to eat and, yeah. you know, while he's here. And so that the 501 C three doesn't have to come out of pocket on that. And let's talk about Mimi Miller, uh, from Historic Natchez Foundation, mm -hmm. who's putting him up, you know, oh, wow. at her house. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. So, so we'll put the we'll put the website back on the screen again. Please. And um, so people can sponsor this also, or is that? Yes, please. Okay. People can sponsor this. People can donate, and no donation is too small. Five dollars, you know, get okay. an artist a cup of coffee. Yeah. You know, while they're here in yeah. town. Yeah. So, yeah, everything is there on the website. You just click donate and it'll take you right to a little square uh, website and easy peasy. You okay. Them out. Well, it, um, I know you're busy, but before you get out of here, I want to talk about one more thing that, that you guys mm -hmm. have been doing for a little while now. And I kind of, I, I haven't, I've been out of town every time, but, <laughs> but I find it fascinating and, and I watch the videos and stuff and it's a Lumaire. Yeah. Tell um, me a little bit about that, how it got started and what it is. And Okay, I'm, ha I'm yeah. happy to. Thank yeah. you for bringing it up. <laughs> so I was a founding member of um, a light-based art exhibition and festival in Miami. Um, I can't remember what it was called right now. Yeah. Illuminate. It? <laughs> That's how Illuminate Coral Gables. Okay. And um, again, it was something we put into motion and then the pandemic happened and we came up here. So I didn't finish that project. But um, it's something that I had wanted to do in Natchez for a long time. We were thinking about moving up here a long time before the pandemic. We bought our house in 2018. You know, huh. my family again lives out there by Gloucester and Coles okay. and Crosby. And so whenever my husband and I would do these big road trips across country, we would go to see our different clients in the summertime and deliver artworks and things mm -hmm. like that. On the way back home from California, we'd always drive through Natchez, coming across that bridge to get out to the family and yeah. see the family before we went back home to Miami. So at that time that I would say was like 2015, 2017, <clears throat> We were seeing a lot of storefronts closed up and broke my heart, you know, because yeah. this is where I would come when I was a little girl, yeah. you know, when I was a kid. And I just really wanted to be able to do something for Natchez. And once we started doing this project in Miami, it occurred to me, you know, look, this is a so this is an economic driver, this mm -hmm. event, right? Yeah. They have them all over the world. There's one in New Orleans uh, four day long that brings 100,000 people into New Orleans. Wow. Yeah. So the idea was if we can do this in Natchez, um, mm. we, can, we can bring some money in, we can bring some taxes in at the same time. It's a free event. So again, everybody in the community gets to come with their kids and their parents and grandparents. And um, so really that was the, that was the idea. That's, that's why we, we wanted to do it. And by the way, from the educational, it's a long answer, right? And That's all way, good. Yeah, interesting. From, uh, from, from the educational point of it, Alamere Natchez is a STEAM-heavy event. So we're talking science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Yeah. So what it is is a light-based art exhibition and festival that has taken place at Dunleaf uh, mm -hmm. the last two years. And this year, we're moving it to downtown. 
That's what I was just about to ask you if you're moving this year. Yeah. Yeah, we're really excited. About Can you share any details about that? Or Absolutely. Still, yeah, sure. I'm happy to. Yeah, okay. So the the move, we always wanted it to be downtown, but just being downtown makes it infinitely mm. more expensive because now you're talking about more security, more. Yeah. A lot, right? Um, so we did it those first two years at Dunleith to kind of get our feet wet, make sure we could do it, execute properly, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so this move to downtown, it's going to start on Main Street, and it'll go down, the opening ceremony, let's say, and it'll go down to the bluff. So we'll have installations on the bluff. We'll have different installations and projections on buildings. So it'll start out. Wow. The guy who did the... The, puppets, <laughs> the guy who did the puppets for the Lion King, right, with another yeah. woman. His her, his name is Philip Cooper. Okay. He is participating this year. He's going to make a 12-foot-high girl puppet that lights up that will walk down Main Street Ooh. with 50 children from different counties and parishes behind her with a – it's going to wow. be really beautiful. I'm so – so excited about this. Team. I'm excited just hearing about this. This is really cool. I had no idea that it was that extreme. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a huge big deal. Wow. And Natchez Ballet Academy participated yeah. last year. They're going to participate again this year. So we're really looking to build relationships with different cultural entities mm -hmm. here in Natchez and, and really just kind of lift up the arts or help. Lift up yeah. the arts in yeah, be a part. Yeah, that's right. And that's this is going to be in November, right? Yes. This year. Okay. November 11th and 12th. Wow, that's right. That's not far away. I mean, Just it'll trust, be here before we know. Yeah, trust me. I, <laughs> as, I know. As, as yeah. an event planner, I'm sure. So. Donate. Share. Yeah. Please. Yeah. yeah. Well, as it gets closer to that time, I would love for you to come back because, I mean, I would love to help promote that. And Thank you. Help get the word out because, I mean, like you said, I can see people coming from, you know, 100 miles away to bring their family to see that. And they, and like they do. They absolutely yeah. do. It's already begun. So we've yeah. noticed, I mean, we're talking about, let me say, 400,000 people, something like that, have clicked on our Google ads for this. Um, and, and the amount of people, like the first year was 300-something thousand. The second year, it went up to like 400-something thousand. And it was with the same budget. So what that means is people have seen this already, they mm -hmm. are understanding what it is, and they're clicking on it. And so it's starting to really build momentum. This, this can be a game changer for, for the city. Yeah, I, I had no idea. But I mean, I really, after hearing you explain that, as a business owner and as somebody who tries to promote the city and as somebody who chose to come back and move here yeah. and, and make my home here again, I grew up and then moved away, and, but um, I call it home again, and I want to call it home for a long time. There you go. So somebody in all of those roles, I really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And um, so we'll put the uh, we'll we'll come back and talk about that as we get closer to time. But okay. go ahead and mark your calendars for November, please. Yeah, right. Because it down. what are the dates in November on that? It's November 11th and 12th. November 11th and 12th. So mark your calendars for November 11th and 12th. That's right. Come to Natchez mm -hmm. and uh, and see this, and then we will put the. The um, say say the website one more time, and we'll put it on the screen. It's the Arts, Arts Danu, right? It's Arts Danu D A N U okay. dot org. Okay, mm -hmm. and we will put that back on the screen. And um, thank you for coming in and, and sharing this with Thanks us. I think this is a great information. Thanks. Great. I, re I really yeah. appreciate the help spreading the word. Yeah. Well, thank you. It, it, my door's always open. Anytime you want to come in, and thank you. Get the word out. So, right. thank you guys. Um, I really encourage you to get involved if you know somebody. Please reach out to them. These things are difficult to pull off sometimes, and mm -hmm. it, it requires participation. That's right. Um, so please donate, like she said, $5, $10. Just pass the word, like, share. I'm sure you'll appreciate all of that. So, all of that. Yeah, so um, I, I hope you guys watching this found it as interesting as I did. And uh, we want to say thank you to all of our partners who uh, make it possible for us to bring people in the studio and do this. God bless everybody out there, and as always, have a champion day. Hey guys, Ronnie Calhoun here with Miss Lou Champion Spotlight. We're out at our awesome partners, Hampton Inn and Suites, with Patricia here. We are at the renovation celebration. 
They've got some awesome renovations coming and we can't wait to show you. We are so excited to announce this to everyone. I can't wait for everyone to see it. We are excited about today because it is just another step forward in our Natchez renewal. May God bless you. And we are excited to celebrate with you this great occasion. Natchez has always been a special place for me. Patricia has been, and her team has been probably one of the best hotel operations teams that we've, we've run across. This is a momentous occasion here. Welcome to Ward 1. And we look forward to many more opportunities with you in this area. And Natchez has been growing in leaps and bounds. We thank you for your past investment and we look forward to all your future investments. So in economic development, we always say at events like this, this is when the real work begins. We're going to signify the start of this renovation with smashing sheetrock. Juliana and Ronnie with Miss Lou Champion Spotlight, and we're here to tell you about one of our awesome partners, Wardo's Po Boys. Wardo's Po Boys was created in honor of Alan Ward Granning III, fondly known by family and friends as Wardo. In 2019, the oldest brother of the tribe passed away unexpectedly. His remaining siblings and loved ones wanted to honor his memory in a special way. In 2022, Ward's family decided to combine the need for a sandwich shop in downtown Natchez with the desire to pay tribute to Ward's love of good friends, good times, and great food. Through blood, sweat, tears, and countless hours of hard work, Wardo's was born. Go visit Wardo's at 309 North Broadway Street in Natchez. Where the po' boys are so good, you'll swear you're in Cajun country. Hey guys, Ronnie and Juliana here with Miss Lou Champion Spotlight. We want to tell you about our awesome partners, J.E. Hicks Distributing Company, also known as Hicks Chicks. Hicks Chicks is a local, family-owned food distribution company that has been serving the Miss Lou since 1945. You already know they serve all of your favorite restaurants, but did you know they are also open to the public? Hicks has a wide variety of food products, including delicious heat and eat options like chicken and dumplings, white bean chicken chili, lasagna, and gumbo. They also carry a wide variety of seafood options like shrimp, crabs, tuna steaks, salmon, and catfish. Don't forget about their famous TNT burgers that are already patted up for you and their amazing dessert options. So go see the awesome team at Hicks Chicks at 1380 MLK Junior Road in Natchez. Hicks Chicks, way more than just chicken. Welcome to your new hospital, Trinity Medical. Located in Faraday, Trinity Medical is the only acute care facility in the Tri-Parish area. Here you will find an active pursuit of holistic health, a strong, honest group of clinicians, and a consciousness of others that transcends the 80,000 square feet committed to you and your loved ones. Trinity Medical, people you know, caring for people you love. Hey y'all, Juliana and Ronnie with Miss Lee Champion Spotlight, and we're here to tell you about our awesome partner, Natchez Heating and Cooling. That's right, our friends at Natchez Heating and Cooling are here for you. They make sure you never have to worry about your home's health or efficiency. They have an expert team who can take care of all of your AC, heating, plumbing, and electrical needs. When you need them, they show up. It's as simple as that. So call our friends at Natchez Heating and Cooling today and make sure to tell them you heard about them from Miss Lou Champion Spotlight.
Hey guys, Ronnie Calhoun here with Miss Lou Champion Spotlight. We want to tell you about our awesome partner, Dr. Greg and Greg Veterinary Hospital. Greg Veterinary Hospital has been providing comprehensive, reliable, cutting edge veterinary services to pets in the Miss Lou since 2002. They welcome pets of all shapes and sizes who are in need of emergency treatment or who require routine medical, surgical, and dental care. Dr. Greg and his team offer a long list of services, including in-house laboratory diagnostics, digital x-ray, soft tissue orthopedic surgery, dental care extractions, laser surgery, laser therapy, preventative health, and wellness plans. And if you need grooming and boarding services, they do that too. So call Greg Veterinary Hospital today. Hey y'all, it's Juliana Wallace. And if you like what we're doing here at Miss Lou Champion Spotlight, make sure to like, follow, and share on all of our social media platforms. It costs you nothing, and it helps us continue to spread positivity all throughout the Miss Lou.